we made it to Dubai. to Dubai and actually straight away from the airport we went and stayed in a hotel like in the city and we did a little bit of exploring around the Dubai mall which was absolutely huge the kids loved it they tried like bubble tea for the first time um, but actually now we've come up to the mountains we've come up to a place called Hatta it's just an hour and a half from the city and up here there are loads of like adventurous things you can do we're camping in a caravan how cute is this and um, we're gonna be trying like all kinds of different things so I think today we're trying mountain biking kayaking water sliding and like just hanging out in the mountains the most stunning view I have to show you this but today we're actually gonna be filming for kayak so we're gonna be making some content for their YouTube channels and just showing how a family can hang out in Dubai and do all this like outdoor adventurous um, stuff like in nature which is such a massive contrast from the Dubai city itself so we're really excited to test everything out um, and I'm going to try and film as much as I possibly can obviously today is the day they're going to be filming us so I don't know how much I'm going to get but I'm definitely going to try because it is so beautiful here so I'll show you some scenery and our breakfast just arrived uh, in these little picnic baskets and the kids are just in there getting ready um, but yeah I'm so excited like I guess when you think of Dubai you don't think of like this it's just amazing we're literally in the desert in the mountains um, so let me give you a little a little view of what I'm seeing Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden Golden, golden, golden things Mountain Laurel High Fives for miles in spring. 
So first up this morning, Fraser and I are going mountain biking, aren't yeah. we? Because you had to be 10 and up to go. So we're gonna do this activity together. So we're just here getting fitted for our bikes. There's loads of bikes here. Um, got your helmet, haven't you? Yeah. And Daddy is just with the two little ones. So he might, there's like parks, like loads of stuff that you can do here as well. So he might take them to something like that. And then we're doing kayaking as well and lunch at some stage. Um, but first off, ready to go biking? Yeah? Okay. Middle of the mountains. Yeah. What are we gonna go and do? That. What is it? Zorbin or is it? Uh, I think it's a slide, isn't it? We're gonna go on a giant, giant donut and go down that. Is that good? Yeah. You got wet? Yeah, it must have been raining. No, there was actually a little puddle. There was a puddle? Yeah. Oh, cheers mate. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I saw some sprinklers. You saw sprinklers? Yeah, they got us, didn't they? Should we go and do some uh, trampolining? Yeah, come on. Let's go. Wearing a million hats. 
after we did those morning activities, it was then time to film on the water side, which I was pleased about because it was a great way to cool off and they were so much fun. A lot of them had a kick at the end, which they called a drop in. So you go up into the air and then land down. And they also had bodyboarding. So I'll show you how we got on. I'm going on the water side. Your turn. Thank you. It's, it's really your, easy. How's your butt? It looked really painful. It's my back that I'm worried about. <laughs> Look. There's Caleb! Once we had recovered from the water sides, which were so much fun, it was then time to go kayaking. And again, the crew were going to film us as we were kayaking. There will be like a proper promotional video of our day here. At some stage, I'll be able to share it with you guys, probably over on Instagram. But the kayaking was stunning. As you can see, the sun was setting. We actually kayaked on the Hatter Dam, which was very nice and calm. The water was turquoise and the kids had the best best time they really really loved it um, and I would totally recommend if you do come to Dubai it's really worth the trip out here even if it's a day trip or if you do stay overnight it's only an hour and a half from the city and you can literally see these views and do these activities and we just had so much fun so I'll show you a little bit of our kayaking <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Okay guys, so we're back at the caravan now after a pretty crazy day um, and now we're going to shoot like the night scene. So we're going to be at the campfire, having dinner, they've got like someone here to cook us food on the barbecue as well and a little table setting. Uh, so the kids are just running around crazy before we start, they've got a football. Um, this is our caravan at night, you can hear little like creatures. Just the most stunning setting um, but there is a crew here because obviously we're filming um, so they're just over there you can see there's a chef over there um, so yeah so we're gonna have a lovely evening I kind of just wanted to show you like what it looks like right now oh also I'm gonna give you a little tour of the caravan that we're staying in Matt keeps saying that it looks like something out of Breaking Bad <laughs> uh, but it's so nice inside Okay, so Jackson is going to show us around our new house. Oh, are you? So if you come in to our little caravan. This is the couch. We have a living room. Little couch. Here, we've got a couch. Little table. We've got a table. 
we've got a kitchen over here and then if you come this way we've got a toilet lovely and this is the kids room so look we've got three beds in here look at that yeah and this is where matt and i will be sleeping tonight so yeah it's a very lovely caravan and the best bit is probably the outside bit matt's out there just now talking to the director and the producer um at the fire pits we're gonna have a fire we're gonna have a barbecue we've got an outdoor area kids are playing in the sand it is just beautiful Say something that will make my day Cause these memories of her won't go away They're haunting me so I can't sleep She was a pretty little liar who cut me deep Cause she left me here alone Now my bed feels just like cobblestone oh, oh why did she go oh, oh was i supposed to know that she'd leave was i the naive to think that she'd be the one oh, oh. why did she go Met her back in 2005 It was her crooked little smile that caught my eye Time went by and it was her and Okay, so we've been shooting outside. We've done like the campfire and then the dinner as well. And it's funny because when I'm just vlogging, obviously I just do this and stuff. But then when they were getting me to talk to camera, I was getting really nervous because there were so many people behind the camera. Obviously, whenever I do this or I'm at home just doing a sit down, there's like no one there. Um, but there was like lots of people there and I was like, uh, like didn't know what to say. Um, but we've kind of done those shots and then we're just going to do one more. Um, like putting the kids to bed and then at the campfire and then that's pretty much done for today. Hi guys, so we're back in the city now. We actually got back yesterday but I didn't vlog too much. We went to the water park and then in the evening we went to this sky viewpoint and glass slide so we could see the tallest building in the world which is the Burj Khalifa and then we went down. What's it called then? It's called the Burj Khalifa. It's called the Burj Khalifa is it? Right, okay, sorry, the Burj Khalif. <laughs> and then uh, basically from the viewing point we were at, there was like a glass floor that we all went on and there was also a glass slide. So I'll show you the footage from that first um, and then I'll tell you what we're actually up to tonight. <laughs> And I also wanted to add a bit more information in case you go to Dubai and you want to go here as well. This is called the Sky Views Observatory. It's a great place to see the tallest building in the world, which is the Burj Khalifa at 830 meters tall. But it also has this glass observatory that you can walk on. You can see right down below and the kids had so much fun. It was really, really cool to do this. And it also has a glass slide that you can actually slide down it's 220 meters tall we all went down it apart from Jackson he wasn't quite tall enough but luckily he also didn't want to so that kind of worked out but we all went down it I made a reel on Instagram with the kids going on it as well if you want to check it out but it was so beautiful we went around sunset queued up went on the glass slide and then to the glass observatory and then from here there is a walkway through to the Dubai mall which in itself is a really cool place to see There's so many shops things for the kids to do but we went through to there had dinner and then went to see the fountain show every night from 6 30 onwards I think it's every 30 minutes there's an amazing fountain show to music and a light show on the Burj Khalifa itself so it's definitely worth checking out if you're are there um, there's even restaurants that look over onto it so you could almost eat and then watch the show um, every 30 minutes um, but yeah we enjoyed it and that was that evening 
Then back to this evening, we met up with Kerry and Chris Welpdale. You guys may have seen them on my channel in the past. We've been friends for years. Kerry's also a YouTuber and she was out in Dubai filming for the same thing that I was as well. So unfortunately, the audio on this clip, it was a bit windy and you couldn't actually like hear it that well. But we're basically saying that Kerry had been filming all day long, um, but now we'd like met up and it was so nice for the kids. They've been friends since they were were really little I think Fraser and Rory were like two years old when they went to nursery together so it was so nice to see them spend time together the kids absolutely loved it and we went to a Greek restaurant at Jamira Beach um, for dinner back to the city we actually stayed at the Legoland Hotel which as you can imagine the kids were so excited about and it gave us access to the Legoland water park and Legoland itself and other parks as well um, so I'll show you a little bit of what it's like and what we got up to but the kids had the best time Go on the lazy river. Let's have a fight with mummy. Hi mummy. He's not moving. Oh. He's playing statues.
in what's it called? Which I've caught for the sound. Sorry, I'm just gonna jump in on voiceover again because as you could hear the audio was really breaking up. I don't know if it was the wind or if I actually got sand in my microphone, but I'm pretty much saying that we came to the sand dunes tonight and we're gonna take in the sunset and we actually drove across them, um, which was really fun. But Fraser actually gets travel sick, so he wasn't feeling too good, so we actually told him to just slow down. Um, but we actually came out here because they do a night where you can try sandboarding. You can go on a camel ride if you want to. You can go quad biking yourself, have dinner and a show and all kinds of cool things. Um, so I'll show you how our night was, but it was really beautiful. Like for the sunset, we got a few nice photos and the kids really enjoyed the sandboarding as well. <music> Snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see we decided to come to the beach. We've come to La Mer Beach. We actually have stopped at Jumeirah Beach, Kite Beach, and now we're trying this one because it's come highly recommended from some friends of ours. Um, and so far it is so beautiful. There's loads of restaurants, ice cream shops. We bought like a bucket and spade. The kids are loving it. We saw so many fish. Yeah, we saw some fish. We Fraser just took the GoPro out to try and film these. I saw these. one, but I don't know if you'll be able to see because it's really blurry. They had a fish with really big eyes. Yeah, we'll try and get some more. There's loads of little like silver fish. And the water here is like a bath. It is so nice and warm, but it's definitely cooler down by the sea. There's this lovely breeze. Um, so it's gonna be really hot on the sun cream today. So I don't know if we're gonna feel it as much as what we do at the pool. Um, but yeah, we're all here. It's lovely, we've got some sunbeds. Um, so I'll try and show you a bit of what we get up to today. There's Caleb. Hiya. Hello, we saw fish. I know. And what's tomorrow? My birthday! Yeah. Nine. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, Kayla's going to be nine tomorrow. I might actually make a whole different vlog of that. He says I've vlogged every single birthday he's ever had and he loves to watch them back. So I might make a separate video of that. That's a heart. Yeah, that is how they do the heart. Ready? Go! <laughs> he had it on his face! He won a... Alright guys, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. The kids are still playing in the sea as they have been all day long. We're about to watch the sunset as well and I reckon this video is like an hour long after all the footage we've taken while we've been here. Um, so well done if you've made it to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of our Dubai holiday. I'll try and link as many things as I can down below and I'll also try and share the video that I actually filmed with Kayak while I was out here so you guys can see how it turned out. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!